So today's vlog, it's really hard to know whether it's actually going to happen or not. Um, we're up in Malin Head for sunrise and it's so windy up here, it's just ridiculous. We find a really cool, just see behind me, really cool stretch of coastline. Um, but behind us here, you can just about make out the sun is starting to get really, really nice uh, pinky orange tones in the sky. However, we are going to be shooting this way here. And there is Tyler enjoying the view. So yeah, we're uh, basically waiting now. It's about half an hour or so before sunrise. So plan is to get a really nice composition. I think initially it's probably going to be a, a portrait composition just because um, of the way the cliff line is, is laying out. Um, I think shooting maybe horizontally might not work, but we'll see. But um, we've got some really dramatic looking rain clouds coming in over the sea. And uh, we could get very, very wet very, very soon here, but yeah, we'll see. So massive thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring today's vlog. Um, if you do need a website, just go to squarespace.com forward slash Stephen Hanna just to start your free trial and uh, to get 10% off your first purchase. That's coming in. Lovely. <laughs> Case of brace, brace behind us because the rain is coming. I have a really bad feeling that it's coming this way. The joys of landscape photography on the North Irish coast. So um, this is the vlog take, I don't know, two, three. Um, vlog started off on the coast, on the cliffs, um, torrential rain, uh, gale force winds. Don't even know if any of the shots that we got are in focus. So there's just absolutely no way that I could have continued vlogging. And um, that's pretty much all I could do was to literally hold on and um, keep the tripod steady so totally abandon it still hope i'm hoping that i will have some content to share with you um later on and uh things have we've just decided um just to to head looking for a waterfall here in donegal and um it's a bit of a nightmare morning because i'm redoing this section just i've just been walking and realized i forgot to hit record so this is like take five or six or whatever. So anyway, yeah, so the vlog hasn't really turned out the way I had planned. It was meant to be sunrise in an epic location, loads of cliffs, high cliffs. Um, but instead we're in, doing, we're in shooting waterfalls. So yeah, just hoping that this works out really, really, really nice because just getting a little bit frustrated shooting the same spots in the same locations so now with autumn arriving it's kind of given us a chance to hopefully shoot some nice autumn colour and explore some places that for me are new. You may have seen back there. Um, I headed up that way to the, to the, uh, I guess the foot of the falls, but there was just so much spray, uh, so 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 loud. There's just absolutely no way that I could record anything. So that seems to be the way today's vlog's going, but that's okay. It's 
So what I thought I would do is just actually let you see on the back of the camera here what I've shot. Basically, um, normally whenever I'm shooting waterfalls, I'd be putting on um, a circular polarizer, which I have used, but normally I'd be putting on some sort of an ND filter just to try and blur out the water. But because of the amount of water that was coming down this, and it was coming so high, I didn't actually need, I think I was only shooting at something like a th uh, one, two fifths of a second. But yeah, I was still getting a nice blur effect on the water. So the only filters that I've actually used has been the circular polarizer. And again, this is on the 16, the, the equivalent of the 16 to 35 on the Fuji, which is the 10 to 24. And I think we shot in and around about 30 mil roughly and shooting at ISO 100, F11 and I've just gone for a portrait composition I'll, I'll swing around here and, uh, and let you see it and basically it's, it's quite a, a straightforward sort of a, a shot just having the waterfall on the left hand side just running from top to bottom giving a little bit of space there's really some lovely uh, lovely rugged rocks on the right hand side so we've been keeping them in the frame but yeah pretty much it's quite straightforward Literally every shot wiped the front of the lens because of the spray. Literally as soon as I, I hit the shutter, the spray was just hitting the front of it. So hopefully when I get home, I'm actually going to have some clean images here. And um, yeah, I think what we're going to do now is try and get down below and um, shoot something maybe with a little bit more of the river in and have the waterfall way in the background so that we're not getting hit by spray as well. So yeah, that's the plan. Here we go. So we managed to get down to the bottom of the waterfall. Um, we're down right at the river's edge here, the waterfall's right up behind us and again I'm going for a, a portrait kind of style uh, composition. It's kind of hard to know, probably there's, there's quite a lot of fallen trees that are obscuring part of the, the base of the waterfall but that's okay, we just have to work with it. But what I've actually done is still have the polarizer on but I've actually brought in um, an ND grad, a, a three stop grad and if you have a look at the composition I have on my foreground, I've got these couple of around here, these couple of sticks which are in the bottom right hand corner and they're leading the eye kind of right up through the river and towards the waterfall. Now, one of the things I've actually done is, is use the MD grad at an angle. So it's actually sitting at a really weird angle, you can see behind me there. So that's basically because of the composition. There is a there's a really like, angled bit here. Basically, I've just turned the the empty grad exactly to suit that because that top half is extremely bright and the foreground is is, is completely in shade, so it's really dark. So I probably wouldn't normally have to do this, but just the way the light's falling, sometimes you have to improvise with your with your empty grads. But at the minute, we're getting one and a third second at F11, ISO 100, so it's just giving a really, really, really nice blur to the water here as well, so really lovely spot, really lovely spot. I think it's going to look really, really nice in autumn as well. But Tyler likes to chance his arm. <laughs> is just scrambling down rock faces as he normally do, tends to do. Yeah, good morning. I think I've definitely got a couple of shots in here that I'm pretty happy with. So that's a wrap for today, uh, I think it's time to head home, head back into the office and get some editing done. So again guys, thanks so much for tuning in and I do really appreciate all the shares and the likes and the comments on, on YouTube and stuff. Um, I would really love to get the content out a little bit further so if you can, please do share it and uh, I'll see you in the next one. A massive thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring today's vlog. 
To start your free trial, why not go to squarespace.com forward slash Stephen Hanna to get 10% off your first purchase. Like me, why not make your next move with Squarespace?